Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Gilberto? Fine, and you? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Excellent. How was your I weekend? Uh, so, I was very busy. I, the, the Saturday, I work, and Sunday, I went to the church with, with my family. And I, I, I had some responsibilities in the church. And Good. For me, it's a very hard day. What church do you attend? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saint. Oh, good, good. Which one? In uh, here in Ciudad Arce. Oh, okay, good. I was near Ciudad Arce yesterday. Really? Yeah, I, I went to Santana. Where? I went to Santana. And yeah, okay, yes, yeah, very uh, near. Yeah, and on my way back to Lourdes, it was raining a lot. Yes, yes. Cats uh, and dogs. Yesterday, it was raining. Yeah. And the problem is that the today car... in the morning. Uh... Yeah, today in the morning. <laughs> yeah, today in the morning it was raining. Yeah, I woke up at five a.m. And it was raining in Lourdes, uh, but like an hour later, it stopped. Yes, the, the same here. Okay, and, and where do you work, Gilberto? I work in like uh, like a electrician in a, in in a popa. Is building a, a small a a, Plaza Mundo Apopa. Oh, it's and true. Apopa. So you yeah. are. So you're I doing. There. Uh, I, uh, I. I am an electrician. 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 So are you independent or do you work for a company? Yes. Yeah, I work for a company. I work for uh, Lux Engineer. Okay, good, good. That's good. So all the connections yeah. in the house, you do it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I, I do in my my own donation, and I, I like to. To help other people too. Very good, very good. That's nice. Good. And when do you have vacation? Uh, for this time, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe never. Not because. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because for the, the the kind of the work is very very strange because sometimes. Uh, we have we, we don't have enough work sometimes. Today is very 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 hard. Yeah, so you're busy. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Adrian. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How was your weekend, Adrian? Well, it was very relaxed, relaxed. Good. And what about you, Evelyn? My weekend was good. Good. Did you go yeah, anywhere? Um, no. You stayed home? Stayed. Yeah. Do you have children, Evelyn? Not yet. Not I yet. have uh, a nephew. And yeah. to uh, nieces? Oh, good. Yeah. Good. 
Okay, good. All right, so welcome back to another week. Um, it's Monday, the 28th. October is history. Um, and next thing you know, November will be history too. Mm -hmm. Time is going very fast. Yeah. Very fast. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what we did on on Thursday. What were the topics we covered? Anybody? Anybody? Be this. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good, good. Everybody's doing okay. I guess. Yeah, I it's eight o'clock. Yeah. So you're reminding your family it's eight o'clock. Don't. She always forget that I have to get my dinner before eight o'clock. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can have a nice dinner at nine o'clock. Yeah, but it's not the same. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because right now, right now the the food is is nice. After one hour, I have to pour the the food into the the microwave. It's not the same flavor. I know. I know. All right. So, can you please remind me what we did on Thursday? Fernando, Jose, Federico, Evelyn, Marcelo, Mario, Martin, Adrian, Vides, and Gilberto, and Teresa. What did we do on Thursday? Only one, only one. <laughs> only one guy. I don't yes, remember. Don't, don't, don't fight, don't fight. You'll have your chance to talk. <laughs> Somebody, anybody? Uh -oh. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. Good. Uh, we, we, we talk were... about the alphabet teacher. Okay, good, very good, Marcelo. We were discussing a few questions about the alphabet. Yes. How many letters in the Spanish alphabet? Twenty-seven. Huh? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. What about the English alphabet? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. What's the difference? In the English alphabet, uh, they don't have any. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, English alphabet, they don't have any. So how do they pronounce any when they see it? Uh, any. For example, uh, Nunez, Nunez. Exactly. Somebody has uh, noise in the background. Okay. Um, so yes, um, letter any, uh, they pronounce it as any. So if your last name is Nunez, they say Nunez. If your last name is Quinones, they say Quinones, right? And it's because they don't have that sound in English, so they pronounce it like N. Okay, uh, that was one of the activities, very good. What else did we do? Oh, someone's crying. Maybe a little baby. Yeah. Somebody took his toy. Oh my god. That's too bad. All right. Um, what else did we do? Do you guys remember the other topics that we had on Thursday? Uh, we were talking about simple perfect. No, uh, sorry, uh, simple past and past perfect. Okay, simple past and past perfect. Okay. Um what, what is the simple past? 
when do you use the simple past? Uh, for things that that we finished. Good, very good. So we use the simple past for things that we already finished. What about the past perfect? Anybody? Somebody help Mario? What is the past perfect? In, I, I think in the past perfect, we have two actions. And we describe that one, uh, one action happens before. One, act, uh, one action happens, happens before. before. Very good, very good. So you said, I had spoken to the supervisor when you arrived. I had spoken to the supervisor when you arrived. So you're talking about two different events. Which one happened first? I had already spoken to the supervisor when you arrived. Or I can say, um, when you arrived, I had spoken to the supervisor. And the message is exactly the same, right? So we use the past perfect to indicate which event happened first. We use the past perfect to express which event happened first. Have you had the chance to check the platform? Yes. One of the topics for this week is passive voice. And passive voice uh, is a topic that people use a lot in English, but the good thing is you don't need to use it. You can always use active, and we'll be talking about that later on. Uh, do you have any questions about last Thursday? Okay. So our first activity, last Thursday, we were discussing the theory behind um, simple past. Right now, we're not gonna discuss the theory. We will use the tense. I'm going to make pairs, and you guys will discuss the different activities you guys did last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today. So whenever you're sharing the activities you did on, on the weekend, you guys have to use the simple past tense. So if I say, I went to Santana, what can you ask me about that sentence? I went to Santana. What can you ask me about that sentence? Where did you go? There. Where did you go? I went downtown Santana. Another question? What did you do there? What did you do there? You know, it was raining, and amazingly, we went to the Neveria, and the rain never stopped. So we got back in the car and returned to Lourdes. So we went to Santana for one ice cream. <laughs> Santana was mean with us yesterday. It didn't stop raining. Yeah. Anyways, so you talk about the uh, about what you did, and the other person needs to make questions. So that way you guys get engaged by using a uh, simple pass. So let me make the pairs. Go right here. We got thirteen people, and here we go. Let's go. Evelyn. Yeah. Who else is here? Oh, Gilberto. Uh, Gilberto. Good. So I right. Know. So you you have you worked with Gilberto before? No. Never. Is this gonna be your first time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, be my guest. <laughs> Start talking. I'll be back. Uh, okay. uh, talking about the different you... activities you did on the weekend. 
Okay, and this weekend. Friday and Saturday. Wow. Okay. It was difficult even to breathe. I could Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it's so difficult to breathe when you are yes. with flu. Yeah. Yes. I but I feel much what 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 is the topic? Uh the different activities you did during the weekend. Oh, okay. And when you talk about your weekend, you must use simple past tense. Yes. All right. Well, yes, in my case, I didn't do a, a, something interesting. I, I always go out with my mom and we uh, go out to eat lunch and go to the malls and only, only watching things and do today you... work okay do you like window shopping yes i don't like it but that's what i have to do <laughs> <laughs> right yeah like i would rather buy than window shop, but... <laughs> yes yes lourdes what about you uh, well, for me, the weekend, uh, well, I had to work on Saturday at the morning, and on Sunday, I went to the, to uh, an activity about the, it, it was an activity about the prevention of cancer. Oh, was it a marathon? No, it was was a, a bike event. Oh, where was it? Uh, this was in uh, Santa Elena. Uh huh. Uh, we we uh, how to say we cycling we. And that was Sunday. Yes. Sunday. Yesterday morning. Yes. Because I, I, I was driving near Santa Tecla in uh, Monseñor Romero, and there were people running. I don't know if I, that was the same event. No, that, that was another event. Oh, okay. No, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, this event about bike, uh, there were, it were in the, in, in the same street, and Monseñor Romero also. Oh, okay. Yes. So I I I don't know the the verb teacher about pedalear. Uh, pedal. Like, pedal. Yeah, like in Spanish, oh. pedal, pedal. Ah, okay. So we pedaled um, uh, through twenty-five kilometers. Twenty-five. Yeah. And there, and then there was a party, a little party. Oh, in a park? Yeah, no, it was in a mall, in a small mall in front of Monte Elena, Monte Elena. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, I'll be back. You guys keep talking. Okay. You know, Lourdes, I cannot. Uh... You eat there. Uh, I ate uh, um, beans with egg. <laughs> Interesting, <Okay>. very fun. <laughs> Typical. Different, totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Salvadorian, very fun. Okay. Well, yes, you, what do you do? Yes, almost delicious. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> You? All well, I, I, let me see. I, I was studying my university degree. What career? Yeah. Marketing. Oh my God, that's that's pretty good. What and career? That's... Marketing. Oh, marketing. Market, marketing. You have classes on the weekend? 
I, I already finished my my career. Okay. Uh, I have finished. I finished on 2016. Okay. Hey, excellent. And uh, I I I can I can develop my my professional skill in my current job. You concert, okay, excellent. And tell me, uh, why is uh, English language language uh, important for you in your career? Good question. It's important because I need to change my career. So, uh, I wish to move to other places, to other companies, because my back is it's hard. Okay. Uh, you know, so I need to oh, say something in the past. Yes, you need uh, to you tell did. us what you did on on weekend. On weekend. Okay, let me see. I went to my job for work. Yeah. Job on Saturday. I went to my job on Saturday, and in the afternoon I assisted to a, a contest. Really? You know what is a contest? It's I attended. Yeah, on, on, on Sunday too, I went to a contest in Opico. In Opico? Because what? I, I don't know if, if you know that I had a blog in internet, obviously. Ah, no, I, I didn't know. The name of my blog is Veneta Trips and Enjoy, and um, it's like a magazine about extreme sports. Ah, uh -huh. sometimes I, 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 I assist to contests, and I, I write a blog, and I share the picture, and I make mm. videos. Ah, so, it's interesting. All. And that's all. I saw it was my very excited. Yes, it, I, I, I always did. <laughs> okay, right now. Um, did you go to the graveyard? Yeah. Always in so, San Salvador? No, in, in, I think it's in La Paz, in San Juan de Pesonte. Oh, yeah. do you have family in that city, in that village? Mm, no, in the cemetery. <laughs> because Hi, teacher. Good night. Good, oh, sorry. Good evening. Hello. Uh, How are you, Freddy? Grabjar, Grabjar is cemetery. Yeah, you can say graveyard. You can say cemetery. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, the two options are good. So I I will be with my my grandma and my grandpa because they die. They are dead. They are, they are dead. <laughs> okay. And you, Gilberto? Could you repeat the question? Do you go to the cemetery? The next Saturday. Oh, the, the 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 second the November. Yes. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. Uh, maybe I I will go with my family to other activity. Maybe. Nice. This day is the birthday of my brother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a little way because in the morning we have that activities in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. and at night maybe we we will eat a uh, cake <laughs> in the house. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit crazy. It's a combination. <laughs> so. You see the chat? Mm, let me see. No, 
All Souls Day. Right. Wow. November second. That's the name of of <laughs> of, uh, of the holiday. All Souls. What is souls? Alma. Exactly. So in English you say that. Uh, well, you say November second is a is a, is a holiday, and people ask you what's the celebration. So you say it's All Souls Day. So. All Souls Day. Yeah, All Thank Souls you. Day. Yep. And teacher. Yes, sir. How is the correct and uh, correct word to explorar? Flower. Oh. Flower. Oh, okay. Flower. Flower. It's a verb and it's also a noun. So you say I gotta go to the graveyard and flower my grandparents. It doesn't matter if is uh, if not natural flower. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yes. All right. So I think we need to go back to the main session. Federico. Fernando. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> How are you, Fernando? Uh, I am a little bit sick. I got the flu. Really? Yes. Okay, fine. All right, um, any questions or comments about the activities you guys did on the weekend? No? No. Do you see the word? Do you see what I wrote in the chat? No. See the chat? Chat. Yeah. Okay. There's no, nothing. Are you saying what's up? What, what's up? No, no, the chat here in, in, in No. In, in, no. You don't, you don't no. see it? No. I don't have No. no. Okay, let, let me write it again. I don't have nothing. Please. Yes. Okay. All souls day. Now, now I see. Okay. And, and what's the meaning of all souls day? All souls, souls, souls day. day. It's November 2nd. Ah. Dia de finados. Dia de finados. Right. Yeah. Yeah. finados. right. So uh. the, the, the literal translation, like some places like Mexico, they will say Day of the Dead. And people, yeah. and people understand. Uh -huh. But if you go to the United States, you don't say Day of the Dead. You say all Souls Day. All Souls Day. All Souls, all Day. Souls Day. My God, yep. that's, that's all, nice. all Souls Day. Right. All Souls Day. So, 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 what is a synonym of cemetery? Mm. Grave. 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 Graveyard. 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 Yes. Graveyard is Pantheon. Yeah, because Undertaker is uh, the man that the make way. a hole yeah. the grave. to the death. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. So, because uh, somebody was asking if 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 they go to uh, uh, if they go to the graveyard on Saturday. It's correct. It's correct. Hey, it's it's correct. correct. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, what, what was that, Jose? It's correct if I if I convey and field. I, I can hear you one more time, please. Saint Field. Saint Field? Uh maybe you could. Maybe you could. 
but you uh, people usually say graveyard or cemetery, same field. Could be, it could be. Now, uh, can you mention countries where English is the official <laughs> language? Excuse me? Can you mention countries where English is the official language? Oh, uh, yeah. Australia. Australia. Australia England. Uh, United Kingdom, teacher. Uh -huh. India. USA. Uh, Canada. Yes, Canada. Canada. Um, Ireland. Okay. Okay, so you have Belize, the United States, Canada, Australia. New Zealand. United Kingdom, teacher. UK, Zealand, New Zealand, Virgin Islands. South America, 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 Samoa, South Africa, South Africa. Africa. Yes. So, so maybe going back to his question, like saying, can you say same field? Uh, maybe not in the States, but maybe in these other countries, they use that term, maybe. Okay. All right, okay. good. That's so in the platform, there is a section where they present vocabulary related with um, technology. Let me see if I can share this with you. You see the document? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sí, Down, down low. It's Chat room. It's so clean. Hotspot. It's... Blogs. Freeware. Webcam. Podcast. Spyware. Instant messaging. Computer virus. And, and what's the name of the last bueno, one here? Okay, hold on, hold on. Somebody's watching television very near. Yep. Yep. The last Eight. one means uh, when you are writing a, a email. Ah, yes. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Copiado. Copiado, firma. Copiado. 10 4, 10 4. Papa Mike. Uh, <laughs> What do you call it? Uh, Sierra. Yeah, Sierra Mike. <laughs> All right, so, so what's the name of the of the last ones we have here? Acronyms? Acronyms, very good. Acronyms. And, and, and when do you use this? When you are going to uh, send an email. Good, very good. Okay, let's start with, with the coffee. first one. Okay, what is download? Is when you are going to, uh, I don't know how do you say. When you don't have something from, from okay, the web. Okay. A file. okay, listen to this, listen to this. When you are given Maribel. Okay. But remember this, when you're giving a definition of the word, try not to use the same word in the definition because you sound repetitive, right? So how can you, who can tell me what the meaning of download is? I know that you know, I just want you to put your ideas together and give me a uh, sentence. What's the meaning I, of have, I, think I have an idea. Know. For example, yeah. when you give some information to the cloud and take that information to your computer, for example, to a local drive. Okay, very good. You're taking information from a cloud and you put it in your local. Yeah, yeah. In okay. the iCloud. Okay. For example, for example, when you when you create a copy of the the I don't know, for example, a video. Or a, An article. Okay. A, and where do you uh -huh, put this copy? Where do you put this copy? In your computer. In whatever place in your phone, in your in the main computer, base. in yeah. your tablet. Okay. In your local storage. USB. 
Right, so you download something and once it's downloaded, usually you don't need a, an internet connection to have access to it. Well, sometimes you do, but you know, that's one of the advantages. If you download it, there is a possibility that you can access to it without internet. Yeah, what about the second one? Chat room. Volunteer. Yeah. Chat room. Platform on the web. People get connected. Okay, one more time, lower this. It's a platform on the web where the people get connected. Okay, so this right here, this is a chat room. Okay, it's like this. Like the same, for example, it's a place when you put uh, words, uh, sentences, and you communicate with other people. Okay, now, do you guys remember the real meaning of chat? Not the chat. Chat means to speak. With another person? Exactly, yes, Nadia. Chat means to speak. So imagine you're using this word 15 years ago and you said hey how was your visit to your uncle's um house so you said oh nothing special but we chatted for two hours and you were just talking you know face to face face to face okay what's the meaning of hotspot hotspot i think it's a device um I think it's a place. Adrian? The internet. Teacher, I think there it's is a, a web page with that name. Oh, yes. Okay, so when, who, who, who teacher, was explaining the word? Yes, okay, listen to okay. Ricardo. I think it's a, a device to share internet with another, another uh, devices. Okay. Fine. Well, uh, a hotspot is a type of connection that usually allows... using wipe. Okay, li listen to Robert. Listen to Robert. Okay. 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 That allows you. That allows you to use your cell phone as a modem or router to provide internet to any other devices uh, around your cell phone. Okay. Or your smartphone. Wh what was the word you used at the beginning, Robert? Which one? Oh, no, you, 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 I think you said connection. Yes, it, it yeah. allows you to provide internet connect internet connection. Yeah, so I think that it's connection. It's a point of connection. Co yeah, it's a point of connection where you literally share um, internet that you have in yourself. Okay, good. Now, what's a blog? Blogs is like a web page. Okay. Uh, well, we, we, you can have a blog uh, in your web page, like okay. a section. Okay. I have a blog, teacher. Good, good. It's like a, it's like a web page. Uh, if, you want, if you want to find, you can find my blog. It's a uh, minute that we can enjoy. Well, maybe when we finish the class, you send us your link here in the chat. Yes, sure. I got to send you. Okay, very good. Okay, next one. What's the meaning of freeware? Freeware, freeware. freeware is software. Freeware. Free software. Uh, kind of software, software that is free. 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 You need a license. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I, I hear like a thousand people talking at the same time. Okay, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Freeware is a software that is free. Okay, freeware is a software that doesn't have a cost. Oh, yep. Right. Okay. What's a webcam? Webcam. Is a so, device. For what? When you. Um, it's well, a camera. You 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 get you, you, you yes it's a camera. a camera but you 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 can use just in a computer. Okay. Now when you say the word camera, how many syllables are there? Camera. Two. Camera. Three. Camera. Two. Only two. Camera. Remember camera. that letter E oh, uh, is quiet. So you don't say camera, you say camera. 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 Okay. Camera. So yes, basically a webcam camera. is a camera. Yeah. Now what is a podcast? Okay. It's an audio it's that an you audio. can find on internet. 
How like do, like a audio, how do you recording? Audio Previous recording when you you could download to hear later. Okay, good, Adrian. Yeah, it's a previous recording. You can download okay. and you listen to it whenever you wish. Okay, what about spyware? It's, uh, it's a kind, kind of virus. It's a kind of virus that it is installed in your computer. And the most time you don't know you have it. Okay. Um, it's not a, that's it's all. a virus. I know that it's a malicious yes. software. Yes. Uh, that, that software is spy, is spy you, is spy your personal data. Okay. okay. Spy your information. Your information. It's a message. Yes. Okay. Now, can the spyware do something to your computer? Still, steal all your information and sell it to anyone who can pay for it. Right. Or who, or, or who want to pay for it. The spyware right. only share your private information. Private information. Okay, very good. Yeah, and, and there are many companies that they are willing to pay money to have your information. You know, for, for email, sure. phone numbers, and, and things like that. Yep. Now, instant messaging. It's like a platform or can be an app like a WhatsApp and a Telegram. Okay. Other examples? Anybody else? Mm. Instant. Now, what's the word instant? Instant. instant. Huh? <laughs> So it's uh, when you are chatting with another person online. Okay, what would be a synonym for instant? Quickly, quickly. time. Yes. Oh, wow. Quickly, spontaneous, fast. fast. Instantaneous. Instantaneous. Spontaneous. Okay. Right. Oh. What is faster, instant messaging or an email? Ah, instant, instant messaging. Instant messaging. Okay, yeah. now let's talk about computer virus. What's a virus? Mm. It's a message. It's a software. It's a software. It's a malicious software. It can damage yeah. your computer. Yes. Okay, and what are the effects once your computer has a virus? What are the effects? They can store uh, your, you information. your information. Yeah, but for example, your computer uh, reboot without your authorization, or maybe something like that. Yes. It makes damage on the, the, on the They can install your personal information, computer. like your number, credit card. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Lourdes, what kind of damage can it do to the computer? You were saying something. Yes, damage, but I'm not sure if a virus can damage the hardware or only the software. I'm not sure. No, just the software. Okay. No, but for example, that. you have the, the hard drive, the, the, the virus can damage the, your hard drive. Could be. Okay. Generally, generally uh, that much is just your information, but I don't know. Okay. Now, what are the symptoms when your computer has a virus? For example, you could have it's it's slow. Slow. It's slow. Okay, it's very low slow. Performance. Low performance. Or Open maybe windows. Working, maybe when you are working on any document or a program, uh, can turn, turn off. You can look the information. You can save the information. Okay, fine. And the last one, somebody was saying that these are acronyms. Mm. Uh, what's the meaning of the word acronym? It's line carbon copy. Okay, but what is the meaning of the word acronym? <laughs> Acronym. Uh huh. Just uh, use the first letter of a word. Of the words. Yes. I think letters. so. Yes. Uh, an acronym is a word 
where every letter represents something. So B. C, C, okay, what's the meaning B. of the first one? I don't I, know. I, I don't remember. I, I can explain this in English. Blind carbon copy. No. Okay. Blind carbon copy. Okay, blind carbon copy. What is the second one? Carbon, carbon copy. copy. Carbon okay. copy. Okay. So, can somebody explain the differences between these two? The okay. carbon copy. The first one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Raise your hand. Adrian. Is to the main. Okay, okay Adrian, and then be this. Okay, thank you. When you write an email, uh, you have this option yes. to, uh, to add a copy for that email. But if you want to other people uh, see the what what uh, what they the the I don't know. What you are going to say to, to the, the the main <laughs> destinatory? Okay. Uh, if if you want uh, um, to share the the mail with some other person, you can add a carbon copy. But the other person will able to watch that other person is copy. With the blind carbon copy, the other person can can see the persons that are copied in the mail. Okay, good. Uh, be this. Tell me, they already explained what I was going to say. Okay, say it, don't worry. Okay, that the first one, the word blind means that you don't want to let them know that you are sending the same copy to another, to another mail, email. And the second one, when you use this one, they can see that you are sharing the same email with another person, another with person. another people. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So they can see or they cannot see. Right, yeah, it's very simple. If you CC 20 people, that means that the 20 people have access to everybody's email. Yeah, if I go blind, if, if I go with the first one, I copy 20 people, but the only email you can see is yours. That's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Okay, what about this one, ASAP? Uh, as, soon as, as soon as possible. possible. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. As possible. Quickly. Uh-huh, what about this one here? For your information. For your information. This one? Yes, postscript. Okay, post and, what, and, and when do you use postscript? When I finish a letter, I put my sign, but I have to say something else. Very so good. I, yes. Very good. Yes, you sign the letter, whatever, and then you remember something else, you put PS. Good, very good. And the last one? RSVP? Uh, it's for the French. Okay. Do you speak French? Yes, you play. <laughs> if we're email. What? No, it's when you are invited to a reunion or uh, something like that. that. And you have to confirm your your assistant. Exactly. And it's a, uh, um, how do you say? Anglicism. It? No, it's not an Anglicism. Anglicism. But it's, it's a, French. Because it's a, a term, a French term, really. Right. Do you speak French, Nidia? No, only we. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have trilingual people here. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so like Nidia was saying, RSVP, it's it's a French acronym. Um, let's say I have a barbecue at my home on Saturday, 2 p.m. At the end of the invitation, I put RSVP. And that means I need you to confirm if you will be there or not. But it's in French. So it means, please confirm if you're coming. Okay. 
Um, any questions about this, about all this terminology uh, related with... Um, Teacher. Technology, yes, Cindy. I didn't understand what is the meaning of the acronym. How do you say acronym? Acronym. Acronym. Acronym of F Y I. What's the meaning? For F your information. For your oh, information. Okay. Thank you so much for sure. your information. I have a doubt. Yes, Nidia. About freeware. Yes. No. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. No. It's spyware. Yes. Because spyware is not the same as computer virus. I think no. spyware is something like is uh, taking record of your actions in in the computer or on online. Okay. And Can somebody explain that? Spyware is um, a spy. Is, spyware is like a software that is sharing your private information with someone else. Yeah, like institutions that they want to contact you somehow. Credit card. And so they, they, they share your information. It's like they, did a, they don't harm your computer or your things. They only keep you in sight. They give your information to someone else. Yes. But there is no damage to your computer. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions about vocabulary before we no question. About PS acronym teacher? Could you repeat that? Okay. Can somebody please explain PS? Is when you have something else? That you didn't uh, say in the mail uh, text. I don't know if I explained it. Yeah, when, well. you forget, when you forget to say something, you... Oh, sweet. But teacher, that, that always people used to... What? Hello? Yes, we hear you. Go ahead, Ricardo. Back. I saw that uh, it have a really uh, a real use in in a, a real letter because in an email you can modify your your text. Sure, but but usually, okay. Let's say you're writing a memo, an email, whatever. You sign it, and then you remember something. So you don't know exactly where you should put it. So you easily just put PS and you add the text. Um, yeah. Like a, a but, but what are the exactly two words? Uh, it, do you see the chat? Yeah. Postscript. 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 Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and that's the meaning. All right, any other questions about the vocabulary? No, I'm sharing, I'm sharing you my uh, link, doc oh. link, is the okay. one to watch, check it out. All right, good, thank you. All right, <laughs> uh, we only have like eight more minutes. We don't have time to show you the document. However, eight minutes are eight minutes. So let's begin. We're, we're going to continue with this tomorrow. But let me ask you, what is the passive voice? What do you know about the passive voice? Passive, passive voice. Hi, teacher. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, in the passive, the, in the passive voice, the important is what action has been made, and it doesn't. Uh, uh, doesn't you know, matter. It doesn't important who. It doesn't who matter who it. made. Who, who who did the action? The important is what action was made. Okay. Good. Good. Someone else. I know that the others have heard about the 
passive voice before. Yes, teacher, but I didn't remember. Okay, the what about voice, the other? Uh -huh. the passive voice is when you emphasize an action, but you uh, don't know who uh, makes the action. Okay, good, good. What else? You, you can know who made the action, but it's not relevant. Very good. What else? Anybody else? It's a way to say something that happens in, uh, with a third person or, or something. Ajeno, how do you say ajeno? Something uh, external, something that is not yours? Something that is not yours. Okay. Your... All right. So, uh, if I say America was discovered in 1492, is that active or passive? Passive. 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 It's passive. passive. Now, if I say Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492, that's active. So active, we need to know who is responsible for the action. With the passive voice, we don't care who's doing the action. We just need the information. Now, when you use the passive voice, it doesn't matter which tense you are using, you always need to include verb to be, and you always need to include the past participle of the verb. So, like I said, this is just the beginning. Um, tomorrow, we will continue with all the information, so I suggest that you check the platform if you don't have if you don't have the time to check the platform do a little bit of reading about the passive voice so tomorrow when we connect again everybody can give different opinions okay, okay. any questions about today okay no no teacher because i i wasn't at the beginning Okay, don't worry. So uh, we're going to stop right here. Thank you for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Thank you, Bye. Have a Bye. good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.